Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. For this week's video, as you guys can see by the title, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the different things you can say to your crush in order to make him feel a lot more attracted to you. Now, obviously everybody, all of us, I have been in situations where like, I had a lot of feelings for somebody and I've had a crush on them for a whole bunch of years. And like, I just never knew what to say to them because like there were so many things that I wanted to say, but when I would think about them in my head, I would overthink it. And then I would think that it would come out wrong. And then I just, totally shut down the whole thing that I was thinking and it just wouldn't come out and I wouldn't tell them. So if you've been in one of those situations, it kind of sucks because you just want to tell that person that you like them and you just want to have good conversations with them, but you can't because you suck at talking and that's basically me. So for this week's video, I came up with a couple of things that I think will be able to help you out if you are talking to your crush and you're trying to think of some things that like you'll be able to say to them in order to make them feel closer to you. So if these things do work for you, if you've ever tried these before, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, tell me like if you have tried them or if you're in a different situation and want me to talk about something else but for this week I'm talking to you guys about some different things you can say to your crush in order to make them feel like they're a lot closer to you all right the first thing is compliments one thing that people do with compliments is a lot of people compliment people or guys or whoever it is they're talking to on things that they can't change now what I mean by that is like if you walk up to a guy and you start telling him that you love how his eyes look or you love how his smile looks or you love how tall he is or whatever it is like those are things that he's gonna pay a lot of attention to and he's gonna really like but at the same time those are all things that he can't change one step further taking it into like a whole different situation if you start complimenting that person on things things that they put a lot of effort into, like if they try really hard on their style, if you notice that they're wearing really nice clothes and you start complimenting them on something like that, that's something that they might've put a lot of hard work into and put a lot of effort into or whatever. And that's gonna touch a little bit different than just like complimenting them on stuff that they can't change about themselves. That is the first thing. If you're complimenting somebody on, let's say they're a musician or they're an artist or they're an athlete. If you start complimenting them, wow, you're really good at piano or you're really good at guitar. That is one way to do it. But I think another way in order to like phrase it so that it hits them a little bit deeper is if you start talking about like the amount of dedication and motivation and confidence and hard work that that person must have put in to being able to play a piano that well. That's something that like means a little bit more because like you're talking about like the character of that person. And so I think kind of rewording it and rephrasing it or hitting different topics like that is a little bit stronger than just like telling them that they're good at something. So next time you are talking to your crush, try to talk to them about things that actually have to do with like their character. And then I think that they'll feel a little bit more closer to you. And I think that it'll also like make them feel really good about themselves. This might sound kind of cheesy, but if you ever tell somebody that you feel like you've known them for a really long time, or you feel like you've known them forever. So if I kind of put this into like a situation, like if you think about the person that you have a crush on right now, if you guys are having a really good conversation about something, and then all of a sudden that other person tells you, wow, like I honestly feel like we have known each other forever. It almost makes you wonder like why you haven't been friends with that person forever. So next time you are having a conversation with the person that you like, try to bring in something like that where like you just kind of mention that you feel like you've known them forever or like the conversation that you're having is amazing and like you don't know why you haven't been friends forever or something like that. And I think that that will have a lot of meaning to that other person. So moving on to the fourth thing, which is the last thing that I came up with, but I think that guys are structured in a way where anytime you touch on their masculinity, that's a huge deal. Like if you're talking to a guy and then all of a sudden you tell him that like you feel really safe around him There's so many things that go on in a guy's brain that like the reason that you're saying that is because you feel comfortable around him You trust him and just all these things like that's what goes on in the guy's brain And I think that if you can kind of say that to him that's gonna bring him ten times closer to you I don't know I just think that that's one thing that guys are really proud about is like being masculine and being able to like protect somebody And I guess it's just like something that we think about that is just another thing that I think if you for, if you worded it into a conversation you guys are having that it will really work out for you. So those are all the different things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I know that there's only four in this video, but sometimes I make videos and I'm like, there doesn't need to be 15 points in here because there's only four that you really need. And in this video, that's basically what happened. Next time you're talking to somebody that you like and you wanna tell them how you're feeling, bring up some of these things. And I guarantee you that like, that will either lead to you having another conversation or hanging out with this person and being able to like actually tell them how you feel about them. So I'm kind of losing my voice, but if you like this week's video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below, like if this video helped you out or if you have any other stories 
things that like have happened to you when you were in a relationship because on the last video I did you guys left me so many stories and I love going through and reading them all because then I'm able to help you guys out also if you guys like these videos I'm doing a vlog on my second channel every single day and if you guys ever have questions that you guys want me to answer you can always go comment on those videos too because I go through those and answer some of the questions that you guys are asking me so I'll go through and answer some of them sometimes I do Q and A's on that channel too anything you guys want to ask me just ask me and I will try to answer it as best as I can I hope that this week's video helped you guys out and I love you guys and as always I will see you guys next Saturday in next week's video bye